Hello, thank you for watching today's video and um, I'll start by saying um, if you like this video please like it and subscribe to the channel and um, the best thing you could do is share this with a colleague or a friend if you like it I appreciate that okay so we're gonna talk about pricing today and we're gonna cover two standard SAP condition types that you can use for discounts uh, and you would typically use these at a header level uh, one of them um, uh, you can put it a header level and it will distribute that same value across all the line items and the other one will uh, break up that value uh, and we'll talk about different ways that it breaks that value up so let's go ahead and look at the condition types here and the first one we're going to take a look at is uh, HB00 and let's open this one up okay so the important thing to notice on this one uh, first of all it can only be used at the header uh, so if we try to use it at the line item level um, we'll get an error message uh, but the important thing here is the group condition checkbox so what that does is um, it will th then just if there's five line items whatever discount is applied at the um, at the header uh, let's say you put a hundred dollar discount there it'll distribute that across all the line items and it does that based on the uh, the net value of all the um, uh, line items by default uh, but there's other ways to break it up you can use uh, quantity on the line items you can use weight um, and we'll, we'll show an example of, of that and then the other one we want to take a look at is RB00 and the difference here is it's not a group condition uh, but it can also and it is used at a header but it can also be used at, at a line item and on, for this one whatever discount you put so let's say we put um, ten dollars at the header and there's five line items um, each single line item will get that ten dollar discount so the total discount for the document would end up being fifty dollars all right so let, let's um, Let's do some examples here. I've already got a sales document that's ready to go, and we're gonna. Uh, well, first thing I want to do is let's go. Let's go to a line item level, and, I, and we'll go to conditions. And I want to show you if I try to put in that HP 0 See, I get a, I get an error message that that's not allowed at at a line item. All right, but if I tried RB 0 notice it is allowed, and it shows up right here. Okay, so um, but let's. Uh, Let's just start over and we're going to actually start at the header and go to conditions and let's do the let's do the first one here let's do the rb00 i'll press enter and i'm gonna and there's two line items and i'm gonna put in ten dollars okay now notice when i when i uh, put in ten dollars and press enter i get the uh, negative 10 as the discount um, but the condition value still says zero so you need to select that and say activate and so notice it sees that there's two line items so the total discount is going to end up being uh, twenty dollars and now if I back out and go uh, into each line item I'll start with line item 10 here and go to its item conditions you're gonna see that discount of ten dollars right here and then if I navigate to the next item we're now on item 20 it's got the same discount of ten dollars all right so very simple uh, and now this one can also be used um, I'll just refresh the document here um, this one also can be used like I said at a line item level so if I just wanted to use it on line item 20 I could and I could put in RB00 and say that I want a $10 discount and then if I went and looked at item 10 right that discount is not there but if we then went at a, back to a header level we will see that there is a ten dollar discount but it was not applied at, at a header level right so you don't see that amount here uh, but you do see the overall uh, condition value of, of ten dollars all right let's refresh our document again okay so let's do the HB00 and we're going to go to the header conditions and um, we'll put in HB00 
and let's put in the same that same ten dollars and you can uh, again condition value zero so I gotta activate it and so notice overall it's ten dollars not twenty uh, because it's going to distribute that ten dollars across the line items okay um, but I'm going to set this as actually nine dollars because we have nine items and I want to show you how it um, distributes uh, across the items so, so so there we go total of nine and um, you see I've got five on one and four on the other and I'm going to show you that it is not breaking these out currently uh, by the quantity it's breaking it out by the uh, net value so here is the first one and it gets a discount of five dollars and nineteen cents okay and then the second one let's navigate the second one it gets three dollars and eighty one cents and how it is doing that is based on the uh, net value net value for the item okay it, which is the, this line right right above um, so it's using the 6160 and then it's using the 80 oh, sorry the ah, 84 trying to get that line there all right so um, if we quickly bring up our calculator right um, 6160 and then um, and then 84 okay so uh, 145 60 so if we just do a quick calculation here uh, which one are we on we're on the one with 84 divided by 145 60 times what was our discount nine dollars um, five dollars and nineteen cents and there's your five dollars and nineteen cents all right so that's by default how it um, breaks that value um, apart so now if you wanted to do it differently for example by uh, quantity on each item you can do that but you've got to update the pricing procedure so, so let's click on analysis here so we can see which pricing procedure we're using RVAA01 alright so let's go update that um, VOK0 will get you to the, um, the, the pricing screen price procedure Right, RV there I've already got it in memory let's go ahead and select that and let's find that HB00 and there it is right there okay so what we want to do is we want to update this alternate condition base value column right here and I've already got a routine set up scroll to the bottom here there you go so quantity ordered and and we'll take a look at the source code really quick so all it's doing right is it's just grabbing that quantity ordered and um, and using it in its calculations okay so um, we're gonna we're gonna use this 901 so we've got it added and we're gonna save now let's go back to that document and we're going to do the exact same thing go to the header conditions HB00 we're going to apply our nine dollars and we're going to activate it and we're going to back out we're going to go look at our items and if this worked right this line should get a five dollar discount because it has five items and this one should the next one should get a four dollar discount because it has four items so let's go ahead and take a look at the first item there and yes it does it gets a five dollar discount and the next one gets a four dollar discount so it's not based on the net value for the item any longer um, and, and you can do like I said you can do different things you can use weight um, and, and other other things that that could maybe help calculate a more accurate uh, discount okay so I hope you liked this video maybe you learned something new and again, if you did like it, please uh, mark the, uh, the, the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel. And, and like I said in the beginning, I really appreciate it if you would uh, share this with a colleague or a friend. Thank you very much.